Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Drew, known on the internet as Like Butter, and today I'm going to be doing another vlog. Uh, it seemed like you really enjoyed the last one, even though I was just talking about some simple stuff. And I think I might do like a vlog every single day if I can continually get stuff to talk about. Um, I do gaming commentaries over video game gameplay where I talk about stuff, but I thought I would talk about some things in vlogs as well, so... What's it been like living on my own? So I'm going to just, you know, as most of you know, I just moved out of my parents' house uh, for the first time. You know, I never actually went away to college. I did go to college, but I ended up commuting at a uh, local college. So I've never actually moved out on my own. Um, I've had experiences where I've been on my own. Um, I used to have an ex-girlfriend who lived uh, about an hour away. And uh, I would go down there for, for weeks at a time. So I kind of knew what I was going to expect. Um, but you never really know until it happens. So um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about like the feelings that kind of went through, um, through me and kind of the reasons why I moved and stuff like that. So um, I come from a very good family, uh, a very loving family who cares about me a lot. And uh, my mom, especially, that you know, that right there is my rock. Um, I love her to death. Uh, I was having a hard time growing up because I never had an opportunity to get out on my own. Um, so my mom would constantly want to uh, do stuff for me and help me with things. And I wasn't really learning life lessons on my own. Um, I met Kristen uh, and I decided to move to Maryland uh, to basically live out here on my own. I don't have any family. I don't have any, uh, f really any friends. I, I don't know. Um, I met a few people actually, uh, recently through, um, a party thing that we went to for her family on 4th of July. But as far as like, like having friends down here, I don't, like I moved away from all my com like my comfort zone, really my friends, my family. And it's kind of felt good to be on my own because I'm starting to learn like the little things in life that you don't really notice when you're living with your parents, such as how much money things cost. It's like the little things that end up stacking up, like the toothpaste and the shampoo and, um, you know, the soap and the paper towels and the, you know, you got to buy a trash. There's like so much that you don't even think about. And those little things really do stack up. Um, I really have I really wish I finished college which I'm sure I will go back and do eventually I want to get a degree in something um, but as of right now I'm just trying to uh, you know do this YouTube thing and see where it brings me while getting a part-time job I'm gonna be getting a part-time job very soon and uh, it's gonna help out with the bills here and stuff because things are expensive they really are especially when you're on your own and uh, we have uh, a two-story apartment and uh, it's $850 a month just for rent. That doesn't include, like, you know, the electric bill and stuff. So need to be making money here for sure. Um, but other than that, I've just been really having a good time uh, just having freedom to myself and feeling like I'm going out and actually doing something. Um, you know, a major move such as that isn't easy. It really isn't. I miss my family, of course. Um, you know, I knew that was going to happen, but... Um, this is just what I need to do for myself. Where I see myself in a year, I don't know. Could we move to Mass back to Massachusetts? Yeah, of course. I don't know what the future uh, may bring. But as of right now, I'm living in Maryland. I'm just trying to uh, learn life lessons and, and just ha just be happy. I'm happy here. I'm happy with Kristen. And uh, I think that's kind of made it this whole thing a lot easier on me. Um, it would have been different if I was, you know, just moving away and then being by myself. It would be really depressing. But, uh, you know, Kristen's there for me and, and she understands what it is like to move on, on your own. You know, it's difficult. Um, but it was about time. And, uh, yeah, it's been it's been really good for the most part. The only thing is, like, you know, at first you got to get used to the whole responsibility thing. Like, you know, making your own food, doing your own laundry, doing everything. You got to, everything needs to be done on your own. You have to fend for yourself. And uh, that's just something I was never used to, to be honest with you. You know, I was a stay home guy um, who just, um, I don't want to say like was dependent on my parents, but I, I guess I was in a way um, dependent on them. And, you know, they, they love me so much and they helped me out a lot over the years and they miss me a lot they want me to come home but 
you know, this is something that I just need to do. So I'm thinking about doing some vlogs, just talk about some, you know, some life lesson stuff any of that kind of shit because I've been through a good amount of stuff in my over the 23 years of my life I, I know um I'm sorry if I'm getting sidetracked like LCS is on right now um and I keep like looking over all right you got my full attention um I want to try to get like a set schedule down for my live streaming and I want to kind of build a foundation on my channel I really haven't had a foundation um, since Gears of War. You know, Gears of War was my foundation game. Um, that's why a lot of people, like some people today, I, I was streaming League of Legends, I had about 140 viewers, and some people were coming from Twitch and being like, wait, didn't you play Gears of War? Like, your name looks really familiar. And I was like, yeah, that's me, you know, because everyone knows me as that person who played Gears of War. And um, I want to find a new foundation for my channel. Like Yami Mosh, for example, he found his foundation with Scary Games and he built his channel around it. Because once you have a foundation, you can spread out to other things without having it be too weird. And right now I'm just kind of posting like, you know, League of Legends once in a while. I'm doing vlogs. I'm doing scary videos. I'm doing DayZ. And I want to try to find a, a foundation, which is why I want to try to make a scary video every single night. Um... Uh, like have a scary upload I actually have to upload this uh, this um, game it's called Anna it's a scary game it's kind of puzzly like amnesia I have an episode that I did and I still haven't uploaded that it's just sitting in a folder and I want to make sure that I don't upload that and then not post any more of them for a while because I don't have time to play it or something like that so I've been kind of holding off on uh, uploading that but uh, I want to have a scary video every night and then start excuse me, start back up on the DayZ. Um, there's a lot of games coming out. Like, people want to see me do, like, live streams and Let's Plays on games that I'm not used to. Um, they also ask me to do Battlefield here and there, so maybe I'll do some Battlefield videos. I just need some ideas and some suggestions from you guys if you want to see, like, what, not only what type of game you want to see, but what type of videos do you want to see on that game. Do you want to see live commentaries? Do you want to see regular commentaries? Do you want to, so I don't know, whatever it, it may be, you know, I, I think I'm, um, gonna do like a scary reaction montage which will be pretty funny i should have done that a long time ago i had some epic reactions when i was playing through nightmare house 2 and also amnesia um i think that new amnesia is gonna come out soon <clears throat> i have no idea what the date is on that um so maybe i'll switch it up and play a couple different games i have my set my whole setup sorry my my chair is kind of squeaky um my whole setup is ready except for the fact that i don't have my xbox so i can't do xbox games um, Kristen just texted me. She said, are you busy? Uh, I like how I said not really, and I'm in the middle of a vlog. Um, I'll see what she, what she needs me to do or whatever. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the vlog and you want me to continue vlogs, uh, make sure to leave a like on the video. And remember, drop a comment. Let me know what type of videos you want to see from me, and I'll take everything that I see into consideration and figure out um, what will be the best to post. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Take it easy.